Hi everyone, Saul Goodman here. I want to talk about the importance of synthesizing the lower chakra centers with the upper chakra centers and how that's preparing us for a big change that's taking place in our whole system, in our paradigm of perception, in our paradigm of life. In the past, there's been a lot of emphasis on the lower centers and this has in a lot of ways formed our civilization for the last it's thousands of years. And so it's a more linear viewpoint, a more linear relationship with reality, time and space. It's more individualized. It's more oriented around power and about ego. And so we develop those qualities and explore them as human beings. We've integrated that into our social systems, our educational systems, and they've had positive influences on our development. And as we know, it's had some negative influences on our development. And then, not exclusively, but as time has gone by, we start to develop our higher level of thinking or consciousness we start to awaken and notice that there may be something beyond this physical plane. And that recognition creates like a looping effect where the recognition activates the upper centers, the upper chakras, and the activity in the upper chakras provides more awareness. And most of that awareness is going to higher dimensions, to more high frequency thought processes, more abstract thought processes, and the noticing that there's actually other dimensions of reality beyond the one that we've been conditioned to think is the only one, which is this physical plane. And so we explore those and a lot of times we start to emphasize that aspect and negate the value of these lower centers. So those that are vibrating in these lower centers oftentimes will not want to recognize the effects and the information coming from the upper centers. And a lot of times when people are emphasizing the upper centers, they want to investigate their spiritual development and their awarenesses and consciousness, but then they get a little bit into denial about the physical plane. And sometimes that will also create apathy about the life around them sometimes a lack of maintenance of their physical body, a lack of maintenance of their environment, their living situation. And so there are pros and cons to both. And there is positive development that's taken place, important information and important effects in the change and evolution of our physical body, our physical environment, but also our consciousness and also new domains of reality that we are destined probably to inhabit as we develop further. What's happening now is that there is a possibility to synthesize the upper and lower centers, almost like they're a mirror of each other. They're a mirror and at the same time different. Different and the same at the same time. This lower configuration of chakras or centers it's more related to the mineral kingdom and that's a whole spectrum of information to the animal kingdom and in the animal kingdom you have various species it means also like in the insect domain and it's all information all energy that not only exists around us but somehow is internalized within our own dna and then also the beginning part of the human emerges from these lower centers. Now, in the middle of all this, we have the heart center. There's various information sources that say that this fourth center or the heart center has this characteristic or that characteristic. Another thing that we could recognize about it and is not that widely known is that there's a bifurcation of this fourth center. And the one that is usually identified is the male aspect. The other part, which is kind of veiled, 
particularly in this last period of thousands of years where our societies and civilization have been more dominated by the male principle. And so this other part of the heart center, or this bifurcated part, is the female aspect. And as we come to this next period, the veil is dropping. It'll be more recognized that this vibration of the female chakra, the female heart chakra, which is up here around the manubrium, is becoming more and more active and eventually is destined to merge with the male part. So it will be a synthesis of male and female. And as that happens, a lot of different conditions are taking place and changing in our bodies, in our energy bodies, in our so-called light body. Instead of being a linear viewpoint of the chakras, when this becomes fully operational, it becomes more of a orbital viewpoint. First, maybe a little bit more of like a horizontal, where the chakras are now orbiting around the heart center. The heart center becomes like the sun in the solar system. Now, there's a lot more information to this, but as we synthesize and merge this heart center and also the upper and lower chakras, our thinking and our perception changes. And so we start to enjoy a more energetic relationship with our physical environment. We start to see our relationships different. Our earth plane values start to change, but we can still interact. We can still enjoy what's happening. We can still be creative while we are starting to expand and start to have a life that's in a different dimension, actually, in a consciousness dimension. So we start to explore that. We start to recognize various interactions that we have in this expanded domain of, we could say, reality. And it's like a fourth and fifth dimension that we start to experience. So it's very interesting. We start to have a new form of interest, new form of creativity, a new form of entertainment. And we start to receive a lot of education, a lot of information from the interaction at these different levels. So we still can be learning from books, from teachers, from films, but we also have this library of information by linking in to these vibrational dimensions that become available when we start to synthesize the upper and lower chakras and they start to interact organically with the heart chakra at the center. And so I hope you enjoy thinking about that. We have a couple of online modules, particularly one that we just produced called the Chakra Workout. And this provides a foundational practice so that you can start to regulate the chakras individually. You can start to regulate them as a system and I'll lay the groundwork for going into more specific use cases and a more specific understanding of what happens and how to work with life as this takes place. So look forward to hearing from you. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what your experience is with the chakras and how they interact with your life as you go along.